Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Have I got a treat for you today. So, if you follow my channel at all, you might remember a couple beast machines I've made. So just a, a couple of them here. This is in the Gamers from Quad Stellar. It's a Ryzen Threadripper 2990WX and what GPU, I can't remember. Uh, is it two? Yeah, two water-cooled 2080 Ti's, the AORS ones, the only ones you can water-cool. Then over here in the Super RGB PC, which is in the Course or uh, Thermaltake VU91 RGB. The CPU is a 7980XE, and then we've also got two of the same AORS 2080 Ti's on water. So um, these are kind of like the two most beastly computers I've built. I'm running benchmarks right now just to get an idea of where we're at. This one, 19,830. And uh, that one we'll get to when it, when it finishes. Oh, 19,224. So um, the 7980XE in this is really a better benchmarking. It's, it's gonna be better at 3D Mark than the Threadripper is. I don't even know if Threadripper would actually do this well in real life. It's not really built for it necessarily. Um, but what we're gonna do today, we're looking to dethrone this computer. So we can upgrade the CPU a little bit from what we've got in here. And I wanna see if we can throw even more cooling at it. Um, what else is possible as far as overclocking goes? Both of these builds are not overclocked at all. But to remind you, the cooling in this one, um, we got a bunch of fans. I know they're messed up. Something like real glitchy happened and we've got like something insane is happening there. But anyway, uh, a bunch of just Corsair like 140s, 120s? I don't remember. Yeah, 120. They're 120 RGBs. Um, but then around back, we've got two 360 rads from EK. Um, so we've got two 360 rads on this and then a whole bunch of air cooling up front, right? And in real life, like these radiators really probably would not do well, especially with this case closed, but it's fine. I'm sure it's working fine in this. But today what I wanna do is I want to surpass the cooling in this build. I wanna surpass the performance in this build. We're gonna we're gonna beat its 3D mark score and then we're gonna see what we can do as far as overclocking goes. So in order to do this, we're gonna to have to find a case that's crazier than this. And amazingly, uh, I think I found one. So let's check it out. So, we're gonna move over here. Now, uh, you might be thinking, oh, full tower, right? No, 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 no. Full tower isn't enough. We're actually looking for super towers. So there's the Thermaltake V91 RGB, the one that I just showed you. Today we're doing the Ragen Tech Enyo. And it is, uh, it, I mean, okay, it's large, obviously, but it's got two sides. You, can, you might already be seeing that there are spots for two power supplies if that tells you what maybe this what this what this pc case is good for uh wow two power supplies i don't actually i don't even know if you can wire to two power supplies in this game like in real life for sure no big deal like split whatever you want between two power supplies totally makes sense if you're going to draw a ton of power and do some like gnarly overclocking especially like if you get to like liquid nitrogen and stuff like totally makes sense but like i don't know in this game if i could actually hook up two power i mean maybe i can i don't know but um, beyond that, what's interesting here is we have so much room for radiators. Let me, let, me, let me show you. We could go here, or we could go here, or here, or here, or here, or here. So yeah, it's gonna be an interesting video. That's, I think, I think we can say that. So my plan is to basically put as many raiders on as possible and make plumbing this whole thing about as impossible as possible. As possible as possible. It's fine. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Let's do it. This is gonna be stupid. I'm gonna start with reservoir because it's really easy for me to forget it and not know where it goes and that's gonna affect other things. Is that the only play? Uh, oh yeah, we're doing dual reservoir. I mean, why freaking not? That's awesome. This is going to be the coolest computer I've ever made in this game. I'm never gonna be able to beat it because like the parts don't exist. This is gonna be insane. Um, I'm gonna go just full RGB in this because this is truly going to be the new super RGB PC though. I really, really wish they had 480 rads in this game because this like gap is just heartbreaking for me. Like when this thing is made for 480 rads everywhere, and I'm gonna have to have a dorky gap is, it's honestly painful. It's honestly painful. All right. The radiator bug is sad. The, the fan bug is sad. It's still here. This is a bug right now in PC Building Simulator where 
these fans are going to be stuck red. So, um, another black and red theme build, I guess, is what I'm telling you we're going to be doing. I'm going to, like, front load all of these, I guess. Oh, my God. This is going to be an absolute nightmare problem. Okay, so if we put one in the front, we can't put one here. Which makes sense. It is a little sad to me. Um, let me think about this. We're obviously going to have our motherboard. We're going to need X299. Let's see, we really need the best overclocking board money can buy which in real life is probably EBGA's X299 board for the WinK. Ooh, is that, is that the right for the WinK? EVGA makes a really, really nice motherboard. Though some of these are capable of higher RAM speed. And I'm guessing they aren't really factoring in VRM, you know, power delivery abilities in this game. I don't know. I mean, this one supports, these two support the highest RAM frequency. Interesting. I mean, the EVGA boards potentially have a better power delivery, maybe? All right, we're gonna go with the Gigabyte X299 AORS Gaming 9, because it is SATX, which is cool too, because this case is huge. I wanna use up as much space as I can and it has supports the highest ram frequency so and it looks good to boot to boot oh yeah all right let's take another peek at radiators what oh i was like what is what is what is this okay so what do we have we have no real options there but we can do radiators here do a radiator here which is actually what it's like clipping through the ground it's gonna let me do that wow it's usually really really picky about that kind of stuff game confuses me um i guess i'm gonna continue to front load holy crap we are at four five 360 rads this makes no sense at this point i don't even think adding radiators is gonna help like cool your loop it's just it's just not I don't think radiator surface area is, is a limiting factor at this point. Um, I'm gonna move this one. I'm gonna move this one, just because I think it might look nicer. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that front part open because I can't get fans on this. Case fans is gonna be a thing to think about too. I don't know if the EK fans are broken. No. Those Corsair 140s sure are pretty. Oh, we can put the fans on the outs. Nope. Wait. Those oh, they'll fit on the inside. Ah, it's fun. <laughs> okay. So, we can go one, two, three. But not anything up here, huh? Why? Why, why, why? Maybe the 120s will work better? Perhaps one, two, three, four. Yeah, 120 is gonna be a better bet here. This is going to be such a tremendous amount of fans. I I just Wow. This is gonna be so silly. This is actually gonna make the RGB PC look a little boring. I have a feeling. It's this is gonna be silly. All right, well, let's look at our power supply situation here. Um, this truly is like the top of the line build. So we are gonna do Corsair 1600i. And I'm gonna put two in here because I mean, there's no way in, oh, can't fit, huh? Really? So what's this for? What? Okay. <laughs> okay, I wanna see, can I put it in the top slot? It just doesn't let me have two. Oh my gosh, the top slot is just like disabled. That one works. Nothing, nothing. Wow. 
interesting game. Really interesting. I get it. Like, they'd have to design around that, but it... <laughs> it's fine. That's so funny. Oh my gosh, that is actually hilarious to me. All right, whatever. Forget it. It doesn't matter. All right, let's get some storage going. We've got room for three M.2 drives, which is pretty dang impressive. Um, we're going with the Corsair 960s because they are the fastest. And this build is all about being the best. Dude, this thing is going to be an absolute monstrosity. Like, it's just going to be so over the top in the best way. Um, all right, I'm doing things in a different order. I, should have, I usually have a CPU in by now, but I always forget memory. And today I want to not do that. Let's open up all of our MIMS. This motherboard can support 4,400 megahertz RAM. So that is what we're gonna use. Cool, there's our RAM. And open up our CPU retention arms and let's drop in a 9980XE. True, this really is the fastest CPU for benchmarking. Um, pretty much available. Um, Intel does have that one, like, what is it, like a crazy like, workstation grade chip? I can't remember what it's called. Um, but generally, 9980XE, a small step up from the 7980XE um, as far as benchmarking goes. So let's get a little thermal blob on there. And a CPU block. Let's see, black RGB. I guess other people, if we just. Continue to kind of stick with that. Hello? There you go. Okay. Ideally on a like on a build like like if you were gonna really go nuts with overclocking, you'd honestly you'd want like a monoblock where you're gonna take off all these heat sinks on the VRMs, the power delivery, and you're gonna cover the whole thing with copper plate that's going to provide real um, water cooling active cooling over those those trips but um it's not enough in this game so sad but maybe someday that'd be awesome if they added it uh okay so i'm trying to think what do we have left is it obviously you got to get our graphics cards in i guess we can do that now and of course we're on 2080 ti's there really is no other option and there we go we can't do another camera no. Didn't think so. All right, so loop order is going to be interesting. Very, very interesting. Oh boy. All right, I'm, okay, let's see. We can pass, I think our best chance to pass the pipes to the other side is probably through these channels. Oops, sorry, I don't want you to keep trying to do that. I'm gonna go with clear rigid and probably black fittings. Um, but I'm thinking our best shot to pass through, because this is gonna have glass. These are all gonna have glass on them. Maybe I should even just put some of these back on. Front panel, oops, I should, is there a filter? No, no filter. Oh my gosh. The dust in this, I can't imagine. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We can do those. Because, yeah, I don't... I can't come up through there. I don't know if I can weasel through here. No. I don't know. So I think my best chance at passing through is going to be through these. Maybe? We'll see how it goes. Um, as far as loop order... So we got a radiator here, radiator here, radiator here. Two in the back. Um, okay. Start where... Well, what I could do too, maybe this would be a good idea, is do three radiators dedicated to the CPU. And two to the CPU. We'll do two radiators, two 360 RADs dedicated to the CPU. 
So maybe it'll be the back two. And then we'll do two or three. We'll do three that are dedicated to our two GPUs. And for fun, um, I'll do different colored coolant in each loop. So that'll be the plan. So I think these three here, We'll go to the GPU, so we'll do, um, you know, probably pretty loop to here, to here, up to the GPUs, we'll get up to here in some pretty fashion. Um, then from the CPU, we're gonna have to come over, try to go back through, through the case, into radiator, into radiator, out, out radiator, which is so far down, uh, back through. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'll be back with some sort of progress, so yeah. Holy crap. I, wow. This is, this is a build. This is insane. Okay, let's just go through this really quick. So, like I said, two radiators in the back of the CPU. So, we got the CPU. It goes out in this one, out this one. So, we'll fold out, out the CPU, down through here. We go through this hole in the case, which is so cool. So, we go through the hole. And we go through this hole, this hole, through this hole. Okay, through this hole, into the top radiator. Boom. Through the radiator, out this. So all the way through here. We do a whole bunch of cool stuff. Oh wait, oh geez, no, no, no. I got, I'm already getting mixed up. Okay, out this, through the radiator, cool. Yep, 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 great, through here. Goes down here, into this, into this radiator, up through the radiator, back through here. Ball that bend there. And we go back through the case in the hole just below the last one. So come through here. And we enter the reservoir and we exit the reservoir back to the CPU. There's loop one. Loop two, for the two GPUs, we have all three radiators out here in the front that form that loop. So um reservoir, out of the reservoir, up through GPU, up into set first GPU and up through the top we go into reservoir at the top through the reservoir down through here into this reservoir and we go down into the bottom one which is kind of that weird like basement so it actually goes outside the basement to get into it and then i took so through that reservoir and then out of that one i could not make this bend straight the case kept saying i was interfering i don't know why but so it's the only bend that's like not a perfect 90. <laughs> it bothers me uh, out this reservoir, uh, radiator, geez, out this radiator, through here, into the reservoir, and back through our loop. So those are our two loops. Let's fill them with fluid. Now I want to fill them with two, like preferably really bright. I want to really make it obvious that they're two different loops. Um, so, because we've got a CPU, we got an Intel CPU, so we're gonna go with blue. Blue clear UV, let's try that. Blue on the CPU, so everybody knows. Team blue on the CPU. Basically their top HEDT chip, so. Now, because we've got two NVIDIA chips for the graphics cards, we gotta go team green for here. Wow. Now this is gonna take a little while to fill. You can see the back filling. That is so cool. I know the fan, just just pretend the fan bug doesn't exist. Eh, it's so cool. Oh man, this is so sick looking actually. I just want the fans to not be red. Wow. I haven't done a two separate loop system yet because I haven't a system where we could do two separate reservoirs. There it is, all filled. What a beast. All right, let's see. Get the power's on. Okay, so not all my fans are turning, which is not surprising because wiring up this many fans can be a little bit tricky. Okay, I think we got it. Ugh, it's such a pain getting everything wired up. I don't know, sometimes there's just like aren't enough headers like to play everything in, I don't know. It's all good though. So we got everything working here. Obviously the radiators are not gonna change red. Sorry, it's a bug, it stinks. It's it's not my fault, but we can get everything else working. So let's look at that. First, gosh, there's so much to do. Okay, GPUs need to not be yellow. Uh, 
There are three of them in this system. What? 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 Wait. Oh. Um. Okay. I don't even know what to do now. All of you. Maybe actually, and the GPUs. You guys can just be rainbow puke because at this point, why not? Nothing matters anyway. Holy crap. Okay, so. You know what? This video is getting extremely long. So, there's the build. Um, this is easily the most involved build I've ever done in PC Building Simulator. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Now, um, as far as the benchmarking, the overclocking, all that, I'm going to come back and do that in a separate video. So, stay tuned. Be sure to be on the lookout for that video. Um, I'm not even going to benchmark this right now. Ha! Totally cliff hung you. Sorry, guys. That sucks, doesn't it? I'm so sorry. But come back and watch other one. So, for now, that is the most insane system I've ever built in PC Building Simulator. And it will be a true rival to the Super RGB PC. Um, be sure to come back. And thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. Subscribe to see that next video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.